let's go. Ray Ogre, Ferrothorn. All right, Ferrothorn. Uh, I think I might actually try Zapdos. I don't know if I want to lead with it, but like Zapdos is a good lead. Uh, I like Toxapex. I think I might lead Toxapex and Zapdos. Let us see. I think Zern is like really okay here. But I might want Lando more. I think Landorus is actually just a little bit better. Yeah. Zern's good, but we know he's bringing Ferrothorn. We know they're bringing Mimikyu. Right, so if we use Toxapex to play on the Mimikyu and dot up the Ferrothorn, we can use uh, Toxapex to trap in a Coco, Heart Switch in Landorus, stuff like that. And uh, we could be in a pretty good spot, potentially. Also, Landorus is, like, really good against, like, Coco Incineroar. And, like, if they're going to be bringing Coco Incineroar to check, like, Zern and Taunt and stuff like that, I think Landorus is a little bit better. Landorus is not good versus Kyogre. But we have multiple forms of speed control, so I think we, be, I think we can get around it. Versus his speed control is a little bit more limited. He probably might have, like, a, like a Trick Room on the Mimikyu, or he might have, like, Electro of Coco, and Electro of Coco doesn't hit the Lando. So, like, we'll see how this goes. You said that was an epic win. Oh, it really was. The last one was very epic. Uh, let's see if it's, uh, let's see if it's Coco. Incineroar Ogre, so perfect. Incineroar, this is a great lead. I want to see if that's Scarf Ogre. I got, like, nothing. It is Scarf. Ah! That's bad. That's actually very, very bad for me. He's going to fake out my Zapdos, I think. He has to fake out Zapdos. You can't fake out the Toxapex here. Because Toxapex is like... Unless he wants to stop a, a wide guard. I don't know, man. This is not a good look for me. I have to do this. I have to... I don't even want it. This is bad, though. Oh, what a good lead. Scarf Ogre, man. That's hit me where it hurts. Yo, hit me where it hurts. Scarf Ogre. Uh, I'll, this game's all a 50 50 on who he fake outs. I think you fake out the Zapdos, but. Good. Perfect. Alright, I can actually play the game then. So the Ogre can't switch now. Ogre is not able to do the Switcher Roonies. Sorry, buddy. And all I gotta do is hit an Icy Wind. And we're golden. And Cinderor can switch, but Ogre can't. So Ogre's stuck there. Yeah, I'm just going to protect with Ray. No reason to Mega right now. I'm just going to chill, and then we're going to Dragon's Ascent the Ogre after a e speed, or after a, after a speed drop. So King Shield is toxic. And can play on a paper book too? No, they are. They are. They're hella terrible. Like, they're hella, like, toxic. Like, they're hella polarizing and very bad for competitive play. They are. Is Ogre about to struggle? Well, he's trapped. I'm not going to disable him, but, like, I'm going to be able to hit him in the face. All right, did he knock off? He, I think he knocked off my Ray. All right, that's fine. I'm going to KO the Ogre here. So, Dragon's Ascent can KO that thing. Actually, I think I might E-speed it so I live the Water Spout. He can't, so he's stuck, guys. Actually, watch this. Am I just the best player that's ever played the game? I might be. Watch what we do here. Kyogre never heard of it. So I can KO that ogre. Or I could double dip. I can hit him with the double dip. So Delta Stream. Right, alright, watch watch this. We hit the Incineroar. Big damage! It's about to be big. It might actually KO. I'm not intimidated, I'm orbed. Please go away. That's what I'm talking about. And then I can hit the over next turn if I live. If I don't live, whatever. What are you gonna do? You're trapped there. You're trapped there using water spout, and you're weaker and weaker and weaker. It ain't raining. I know I got a special D-drop. Can I live, though? 8 H that, That's why we take those. And then... Oh, recovers. That's so good. It's almost like I played the game. Dude, look at that value! Oh, okay, just stick it out, man! I can just E-speed that from here. I can Baneful Bunker E-speed that, and I okay, oh. That was a good play. 
That was that was a good play. Holy moly. That move is huge. That's almost like a play of the game. I'm gonna e-speed it next turn. Oh, come on! Come on! Don't do me like that. He's gonna e-speed me back! Do I care about that? Do I actually want to icy win here? Like, I know I'm e-speeding. Oh, wait, I could just protect Ray. How many turns is he bound? I think I actually just icy win here. And... Protect, and then next turn I do the ESP play. Yeah. Cause I think he's gonna I think he's gonna E speed my Ray. And I'm pretty sure he's jolly. And so I want my E speed to like out E speed his E speed, so I'm gonna go first. This also breaks Sash. Uh he if he's banded, he could like dumpster my uh freaking my guy. But we'll see what he goes for. Wow, he's so risky. What if I painful bunkered like I wanted to? He'd be poisoned. I think I live unless he's banded, guys. Ah, he's so big! Why you gotta be- Why you gotta be so big? And then now he can switch. Alright, this is not good. Abort mission! Alright, water spout. Okay. I have to go Zapdos. Yeah. That was bad. That was not a good look. I should have just painful bunkered and fought with the ray. I think his ray's banded, guys. Wait. I think his ray's banded because that doesn't KO if it's not. So that means. Yeah, my e-speed should still work here. If you're banded, you can't e-speed. Yeah, you can't e-speed for banded. Go for it, Chief. Please go away. All right, we trade. It's a good trade for me because I get to intimidate both these guys immediately. It's actually a really good trade for me. All right. Is he gonna trick me, you think? He, could, he still hasn't Z moved yet, guys. Oh, Toxapex would have been able to grind out that Mimikyu! Oh well. But Intimidate's good here. I'm gonna protect. I think I'm gonna protect Lando. And probably just go for. I'm actually gonna go for a Heat Wave, guys. I want to break the Mimikyu Disguise. And it also could burn the Ray. Wait, why am I? I'm not protecting. The fuck? I have a Trick Room. I have a... Actually, let me check my speeds. One twenty one, one fourteen. Perfect. And as long as I hit this Heat Wave... I ain't gonna risk that. I'm gonna use Volt Switch. Tech Rage. Yeah, go for it. Go for your Trick Room. Yeah, I, I am risking it. I am risking a Heat Wave missing on that Mimikyu, guys. You guys think it's Sash Mimikyu? It could totally be Sash Mimikyu, guys. That would be awkward. Because I'm respecting the most amount of Mimikyu respect I can give right now. Alright, let's see it. it. I think it's Sash. I think he's so sashed right now. Otherwise, I think he would have protected. Ah, maybe not. It's really hard to say. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Praise. Dragons, I don't think it KOs me. Because he's, he's uh intimidated. And I'm bulky as shit. I don't think I get KO'd. I'm over like 40 HP. 28. That, that works. If it ain't broke, man. It works. How many turns of Tailwind do I have? Is it one? Two. Perfect. I'm actually going to protect with my land this turn. We have PP out. 
We gotta PP out the uh, Dragon's Ascent. He can hit my Zapdos. I don't give a shit. That's what Zapdos is for. Zapdos is the the thing that beats the Rayquaza teams, guys. Dragon's Ascent hit the Zapdos? Oh nope. Oh, see, that's why. That's why you lose. You only have us, and the pressure's on right now. Zapdos has pressure, guys. And he's like, it's okay. I'm about to... The, tri the trick was that the Tailwind's about to be gone. And I'm like, the Tailwind doesn't matter. Because, like, we have additional forms of speed control coming in. Humongous. Oh, man. I thought that missed. I thought that missed. The wind's weaken it saying it missed. Oh, I take those. Oh, my gosh. We came back. Yeah, but he's going to have to hit Zapdos eventually, I mean. So, I mean, he can only hit two, and I have Roost. Finally hits Lando. Lando did a good job. Yo, that's actually EV training on purpose to lift that. I, I'd like you guys to look up some calcs all you want, but my Lando is thick AF. This guy might have thought he actually had a shot with the Mimic Q turn. He's like, what's he going to do? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But all your points belong to me. All your points belong to me. Finally, a team we can use Zapdos on. That's a very good team to fight Zapdos with. Double Fake Out, very good. Tornadus, very good. Ferrothorn, very good. Uh, I think Ferrothorn's going to be a backup. So I actually think they're going to leave with like their anti Zern tech at the front. I hope it's not a Scarf Ogre. But uh, remember, guys, if they have on our right, if it's like Kang on their right, I'm pretty sure that means it's going to be a Roar Kang or something that's made to deal with Xerneas. So let's see. I think I am going to lead Zapdos, though. Zapdos is a very solid lead here. I can trade Tailwinds. Uh, if you want to go trade Tailwinds, uh, if you want to go Geo, I can trade uh, Tailwind into that. And I think we're just gonna go Pex. Like Zapdos Pex seems very good. Zapdos Pex. Uh, do we? I, I don't even know if I want Ray. I'll bring the Ray, but I don't think I'm gonna actually get that much use out of it. And I think I'm gonna bring Lando. I haven't even brought Xerneas today, guys. You, I, can you guys realize that? I haven't even brought Xerneas. I've been playing for like an hour and a half. Who needs Xerneas? I don't. People are roaring Kang for torn teams. I mean, we'll see. We'll see, you know. All right, let's go. What up, my dude? Not much, yo. We're just trying our best to get some ladder on. So there's the Kang. He's on the right spot. But I think that there's roar on that Kang. I really think there's roar on that Kang. So who are you going to fake out, Chief? That's the real question. Who are you going to fake out? Because I don't really care if he wants to, like, fake out Tox. He's not going to fake out Toxpex. He's going to fake out Zapdos, right? He is going to fake out Zapdos. So I'm actually going to take the initiative, I think. I want to hard switch in my Lando. No, I'm actually just okay with this because his board is, like, so low power against mine. I'm just going to Volt Switch the Torn and put an Infest on the Torn, I think. Kind of just wall that guy out nice, nice and quick. Fake out Pex. So you don't want to ever fake out Pex because of Baneful Bunker, guys. You don't want to fake out a Pex. It's like fake outing... Like, uh, uh, using a Scrappy Mon to fake out, uh, uh, what is it? An Aegislash. It's very risky. I mean, it might. It's much safer to do that play. It's a lot of damage. Still think Buzzball's play for Worlds. Yo, Buzzball's very good. Tailwind's completely fine. I think he's going to go for some sort of double edge play. He's going to hit the Zapdos, right? I think he's going to Z-move my Pex. I think I'm actually just going to... I think I'm just going to bunker this turn and go for a Roost. Hit nice and chill. Like super chill. Hopefully this will get me this will land me at full health. And then I'll be able to go for like icy when hearts which land on next turn or something like that. Yeah. But I think that is a Z move uh tornadus. And if I once I get the tornadus off the board, it's gonna be a lot easier to use other stuff like Rayquaza. Taunt. Ooh, that move's not very good against me, believe it or not. And double edge. This is gonna land our laptops at full. It's gonna proc our berry most likely. Berries up. Oh. Yo, what about that that Kang? Kang nerf didn't do shit. I would have still been a full. I'm about to be a full. Roost is pretty good here, though. Look at that recoil. You ain't got nothing. And next turn, he's going to taunt me. I think I'm just going to infest the Kang and hard switch Lando. It's hard switch. I, I think Lando's hard switch is fine. I could also Icy Wind here, but I don't think I need it. Cause he's just gonna keep taunt. He's gonna keep trying to taunt me, and I'm like, "Yo, infestation's pretty good." Last time I checked, and I'm gonna switch out uh, Toxapex for uh, Zapdos to turn that yeah, I really think right. he's gonna go for a big that's Z move. Right. Yo, Mister Dead. Thank you for the follow. Yo, welcome to the Plus Bus. Hope you're having a great day so far. Enjoying some BGC content. 
I mean, it's pretty good. And like I said, his torn can't uh, he can't switch, so it's stuck there, right? Taunt? Yeah, next turn he's gonna Oh, he's hitting that. He's trying to top he's trying to stop a tailwind, huh? Is he is he biting me? Are you trying to flinch my boy? Oh, he's trying to hit the Zapdos. That's a weird play. That's a that's a play of someone who's risking it all. That's the play of somebody who's risking it all. I think that tornado is Z move. And so I'm really trying to play around it. I'm gonna bunker this turn. Hard switch and Zapdos. I don't. I, like I said, speed control is not important in this game. Speed speed is not important. Our, our team is very bulky. Bunkers up. Role play. Not bad, dude. That's a pretty good ability. Last time I checked. Pressure was very good. Under pressure. Pushing down on me. Damn, I wanted to hit that. I wanted to hit that tox specs. Alright, he's gonna taunt the tox specs this turn. 100 percent 100 percent hit the tox specs. He doesn't have pranks anymore, guys. Alright, so I can get a double KO this turn. Tailwind Peter's out. So if he can retail win me, or he can go for a taunt. And I don't care what he really wants to do. I mean, if he has Z-move, he could fucking do it. I've done my best. If you held your Z-move this whole time and aren't going to reset Tailwind, I don't know what to say. Oh, he's so good! He's so good! I swear, I've never seen someone so good in my life. The patience exuded from this man knows no bounds. He had multiple chances to hit the Tox Effects. He had a chance to hit the Landorus. He had a chance to hit everything. And he saved it. Yo. <laughs> this man, he's the best player I've ever seen in my life. And he hit the Zapdos, yo! He wants that thing gone! <laughs> he wants it gone! And this might KO. This might KO. It really might. I think probably will. Yeah. Oh, Sash is up! Ah, uh, dude. Intimidate was not enough. I think I had a, a good Icy Wind off here. We're gonna get a KO on Kang if I hit. Yo, this man's absolutely nuts. Why is he tunneling that hard on my, uh... Why is he tunneling that hard on Zapdos? You gotta think about that. Why? Is this KO? Please just give me the KO on it. Ugh, damn it. That's probably a KO. Alright. Alright. Yes. Alright. Um. Lando's good here. Rayquaza's very good as well. I don't remember anything else that was in that guy's team. Ooh, it could be Kyogre. I'm gonna send Ray out. Barrow. Alright, it works. That works for me. What do you do against a Tox Specs with Barrow form? I could invest. I kinda wanna Dragon Dance. I'll actually I'll check out his team. He has Ogre Zern in the back, guys. And I think it's I think it's uh, probably Ogre, which is why he was going that hard after Zapdos. If it's Ogre, like all I need to do is get some heat control so like Landers can one shot. Landers is very good still. I don't think I want to Mega. Because I can just save it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna E-speed the Tornadus and go for an invest. You think of Serena or Silva Lee on the Ogre Necrozma team I asked about earlier, the six months. I like uh, Serena because it makes it look like you're using Scarf Ogre, but that's about it. I like Serena. Serena's a good Pokemon. So, you're not, I'm not going to be undersold on that Pokemon being absolutely busted. Yeah, Iron Barb's pretty good. I want to see if he's Leech Seeding my Tox Effects. Gyro into the, in the Ray. It's not going to get a KO, but it's going to do a lot. Yep. And uh, we did all that to... Uh, Wait and see if it's Zern here. If it's Zern here... Oh, it's Kyogre. Perfect! We can use our weather. And it makes it so his weather will not work. Has Serena seen much play in Ultra Series? Not a ton, but, like, it's still a very good Pokemon. Yeah, Bulky Soul U-Turn. That's pretty much it. But there's, there's other Pokemon that are just as good for Bulky Soul U-Turn. But Serena is good. Serena is a usable Pokemon, 100%. I'd say Serena's top 30. 
Alright, we're gonna Mega. I think we're actually just gonna Mega Protect. And, uh... Mega Protect and Infest the Ogre. Because he has to Raw Thunder us, guys. He has to go Raw Thunder. And then I'm just gonna drag his Ascent to the, uh... The Ferrothor. And I wanna see if anyone protects. If Ogre protects, I'll just hit the Ogre, you know? I pretty much hit. If anyone protects, I hit them in the face. And we just took away his weather. All right, who protects? Who's protecting? Show me what you got. Thunder! He went for the raw thunder! Of course he missed. That's what happens. I want to see if he leech sees my toxic effects. Gyro, okay. So looking at Mons get U-turn, Electros also gets it. Yeah, Electros is very good. Uh, you know, you could also use like a Volt Switching Rotom. Rotom is very good too. Rotom is a very good Pokemon. Let me think about what I'm going to do here. Because he only has 10 Thunders, guys. Other than that, he can't hit. Toxapex? Let's see how many weeks these guys. What's the worst part about team building in this meta for you? Kyogre's Protect. Uh, for me, it's second guessing myself in the six month choice. No, no, no. The worst part about team building for me is... Um... Actually, I don't know. I, I've actually done a pretty good job of, like, learning the team building matchups. So it's like, I don't know. For earlier on in the season, there was a lot of oppressive cores. But team building is really easy for me at this point in the, in the meta. I can pretty much build anything I want and get away with it. So that's very good. The six Monchoy should always be a Pokemon that... Alright, so... Uh, I was... Uh, the Discord earlier. Right? The Discord. There's a link to the Discord right here. So, in the Discord earlier, me and Nev were... She wanted to build a team, right? And so she wanted to do Straptor. So we actually, from like 9 a.m. this morning to about 11 a.m. this morning, we built a team from scratch. Talked about every single matchup, added one Pokemon at a time. And so if you look at that, <laughs> you can generally see how my team building process works. I like to start with a Pokemon that I want to build around. Then from there, I might pick one Restricted that helps that Pokemon out. Then from there, I pick a couple other Pokemon that do other roles that I want filled. Then I add another Restricted, and by the end of it, I should have one Pokemon that I can do whatever I want with. I can add this Pokemon in for uh, additional support in weak matchups. I can add this Pokemon in, uh, you know, to concrete out certain victories. I can add this Pokemon in to throw out the team preview. I can add this Pokemon in because I just want to use it because it's a fun Pokemon. What is that last slot? I should be able to do whatever I want with. And, uh, that's, that's absolutely how I like the team build. So, like, hopefully that helps. But yeah, like, the, the thought process is all in the, in the Discord if you want to go back and look at that. And sometimes, like, the last Pokemon can be restricted. Sometimes the last Pokemon is restricted, and I just throw a random restrictor in there. Like this team, for example. Xerneas is a throw-in in this team. I do not need Xerneas. I've been playing for over an hour and a half. I haven't brought it once, because it's not required for the team.